Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology again and today we are going to discuss one of the most important concepts in Vedic Astrology. I am very delighted to start this series. We are talking of Tithi Pravesh chart here. So Tithi Pravesh is your actual birthday when your sun and moon are in the exact same tithi degree wise in comparison to when you are born so you can get this chart from Jagannath Hora J Hora which has been designed by uh, PVR Narsimha Rao sir he is a extremely learned astrologer and he has very kindly made that software it is available in the internet for free and you can also get the Tithi Pravesh chart there for free also inside the software. You don't have to pay anything else. So you can download the software. It is available for Windows. And if you have a Mac like me, then you can use softwares like Wine Bottler and run the exe file on that. All right. And Tithi Pravesh tells us what are the areas of focus that we will have for this coming year during our Vedic birthday okay so today we will discuss in short about the principles and we will try to see how to read the Tithi Pravesh chart so as you see as an example here this on the left that you see with Rahu in Sagittarius in the ascendant that is the Lagna chart of the person which is the chart when he was born uh, he's a very famous uh, person indeed and he's a very great friend of mine uh, he stays here in Germany he has done his masters here in Germany in the University of Magdeburg <coughs> and this chart that you see here Moon Ketu in Aquarius Rising <coughs> this is his Tithi Pravesh chart of 2016 remember Mars and Saturn you know he is born on September so this is the chart I mean September 1992 he was born so um, around that time this Tithi Pravesh chart is there okay and uh, therefore now let us try to see how to read and how to reconcile the certain uh, the both the horoscopes basically so the first thing that we need to check in this uh, Tithi Pravesh and yeah before that I would like to say <coughs> there are many different ways to read a Tithi Pravesh chart so some people take the day lord the lord of the day where you are born you know so for example if in this year's Tithi Pravesh chart you are born on a Thursday then they will see Jupiter so some people say they take the Hora Lord. Okay, so Hora is another concept of the Panchang. So if you are born in Mercury Hora, they say that Mercury will be the most important planet. All right. So there are different opinions, and some people say that the Lagna Lord decides what is going to happen and where will be achievements and struggles. And uh, I respect all the three opinions, and whoever uses whichever system uh, ultimately if it gives them accuracy well they are they should be very happy to use it but in my practical experience i have seen the lagna lord and the ascendant the lagna and the lagna lord and certain other factors are the most important so i do not check the hora lord or i do not check the vara lord which means the lord of the day of tithi pravesh i only check the lot of the ascendant and by that we can determine what are the things but it's not that easy to say because <coughs> there are many things which goes on all right so let us try to see how to read these chart these charts and we cannot just independently read a tithi pravesh this chart okay we should always read the chart in context with the lagna chart so that means if there is a great yoga which is forming in the Tithi Pravesh chart. If there are certain indications of a similar yoga forming in the Lagna chart itself, only then that yoga will fructify. Okay. Otherwise, these yogas may not fructify. 
all right and the strength of the bot chart will tell you how powerful the uh, yogas in the tithi pravesh chart will work so i repeat the strength of the yogas in the lagna chart will tell you how strong or how powerfully the yogas in the tithi pravesh chart will also work okay so it is not the other way around it is not that if there is a very strong yoga forming here in the tithi pravesh chart it will override the lagna chart okay the tithi pravesh chart i repeat cannot override the lagna chart the lagna chart will always ultimately have the say there is no doubt about this this is 100 percent true all right so you have to first start by analyzing from the lagna chart and only then you should go to the tithi pravesh chart without seeing the lagna chart if you are reading the tithi pravesh chart you will end up in a disaster basically okay all right and if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to the channel and if you want a consultation from me regarding your tithi pravesh you can always go to my description section of the videos where you will find the link to my website to book a reading with me and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him okay so let us look at this chart the lagna chart first you see there the Lagna Lord is in the 10th house. This is one of the best placements to have in any chart, of course. The Lord of the 11th is in the 10th. Another fantastic placement. The Lord of the 9th and the 10th. Sun, Mercury are conjunct in the 9th house, forming Dharma, Karma, Dipati Yoga. This is a phenomenal chart and you will not see many charts like this. All right, These are very rare charts which I have somehow luckily found. And that is why I am showing these charts to you. All right. And therefore, we understand that this chart is inherently very strong, inherently very powerful. And this person has a capacity to change society, to do great things, to do revolutionary things. And this person has been doing also. But now let us see what did the year 2016 hold for him. Okay. So, this chart is the chart of Tithi Pravesh, 2016, year 2016. Alright, so now in this chart, what do we see here? You see moon is in the ascendant. Alright, so I have seen in my experience. In the Tithi Pravesh chart, if the ascendant is having a lot of benefic influences, especially if there are planets like uh, Jupiter, Venus, especially I have seen. Or to some extent, Moon, Mercury also, if they are well placed by sign at least, or uh, if they are supported properly, then the person feels that that year has been good for him. Okay. Or at least the person may feel, even if there are many difficulties, the person would feel that yes, uh, but there are good things to see behind. So whenever he sees behind, he doesn't feel that, oh, this was a bad year for me. Okay. Even if the chart is uh, not very good, but if the ascendant is having benefic influence, then the person feels as if this year had been good. Last year was good for me. Something like that. So now here you see moon is there in the ascendant. Moon is a natural benefic. And uh, it is also the Lord of the 6th house. And then Ketu Lord Scorpio. So the 10th Lord is there in the Lagna. Okay. And if you see uh, Saturn as Lord of Aquarius is sitting in the 10th house. Okay. So therefore, now you see the Lagna chart. So this Lagna Lord Jupiter is in 10th. And here Lagna Lord Saturn is in 10th. So that means... Uh, imagine Jupiter is sitting uh, from birth and he is having no work to do. Now imagine Saturn comes and tells him, hey, you know, we got a lot of stuff to do. So why don't you just join us? So this is exactly like that. So this year uh, is supposed, this year uh, 20, 2016 uh, actually was very good for this person. <coughs> but... It was uh, also full of struggles because if you see here, 
Ketu is in the ascendant, then Sun is aspecting Ketu, then you know Mars is aspecting Ketu. So uh, it's not going to be an easy year. And then also the other thing is his his lagna itself is uh, if you check Aquarius for Sagittarius, if you check here, Aquarius is the third house. All right. So whenever uh, the <coughs> whenever the Dustana houses of the Lagna chart are rising in the Tithi Pravesh, challenges could be more. Should I repeat? Whenever the Dustanas, which means 6, 8, 12, including 3 also, 3, 6, 8, 12, okay? So Aquarius, Taurus, Cancer and Scorpio. Whenever these Lagnas are rising, you might feel that life has become very stressful or things are going away from you okay <clears throat> but what if jupiter is sitting there in the ascendant so then it could mean that although life is difficult but you, you are still happy right what if the opposite is true imagine aries or leo is rising here and then you have saturn placed then even if things are great you will not be happy okay these kind of things could be there if malefics are placed now here moon is placed, Mercury is aspecting the ascendant, so things are good overall. He's, he felt that this year was very good for him. Lot of struggles and a uh, lot of achievements also because as I said, the Lagna Lord is in 10th for both, you know, both the charts. So this person achieved a lot of things during this year, 2016 to 2017 September. And therefore this person uh, said to me that although there were many difficulties and there were a lot of travels he told me why why travels because aquarius is the third house you see in the lagna chart so whichever house is rising in the lagna chart in the tithi pravesh or from the lagna chart that those themes will become active all right so third house deals with travel and uh, short distance travel primarily. So this house is getting activated now. Imagine as if his year is governed by this house. Okay. So therefore he had a lot of travels. In fact, he, as far as I remember, he told me that uh, every three months he had to travel somewhere or the other due to some reason or the other. So now we know that this chart the lagna chart has dharma karma dipati yoga very strong yogas are there uh, moon mercury in trines very great uh, very great placements so now we have to analyze uh, what are the strength of these yogas now in this year will they fructify so for example uh, you see there is dharma karma dipati yoga here sun mercury in the ninth so let us see is there any yoga forming in this chart in the Tithi Pravesh chart okay if those yogas are also forming then the strength of those yogas in the Lagna chart will be magnified and those results will also come uh, so here you see Mars and Venus are the 9th and the 10th Lords okay Mars is the 10th Lord Venus is the 9th Lord is there any link between them Mars is in 10th, of course, it is forming Guru Chakra, Mahapurush Yoga, very strong. But it is not linked with Venus. By any means, it is not linked. Neither is Venus aspecting, see, Mars is aspecting the house of Venus, Taurus. But Venus is not aspecting the house of Mars, neither it is aspecting Mars. So, by all the four systems of Yoga, there is no link between Mars and Venus. So, Therefore, you could say that this Dharma Karmadipati Yoga would not fructify during this time. This yoga will not be in focus during this year, alright? And <clears throat> apart from that, you could also uh, see in the Lagna chart, for example, you know, the 7th Lord is in the 9th, okay? So, is there, this is a very big Raj Yoga, 7th Lord in 9th, 9th Lord in 7th. So, is there any similar yoga which is forming? Well, uh, Oh, sorry, I mean, I meant to say the 5th Lord Mars is in 7th, okay, not the ninth Lord in the Lagna chart. The 5th Lord is Mars is in the 7th. This is also very big Raj Yoga. So now, is this Yoga forming the Lagna chart in the Tithi Pravesh? Yes, it is forming. Mercury is again the 5th Lord. 
again it is in the seventh house so this yoga is uh, gaining strength during this year okay and the seventh lord sun is also there in the seventh house itself okay so therefore we can o conclude overall that uh, this year will be a good year for this person but spiritual progress will not be uh, very much on cards during this year because the ninth lord is not well placed if you see venus is in virgo it is in debility and that too it is in uh, 12 from itself and that too it is in the eighth house you know eighth house is the worst house for the ninth lord to be in so now of course this does not mean that uh, the person will do something wrong or he will break the principles of dharma it does not mean that but in general we could say the person will not have a strong focus on spirituality and this person was geared towards career and uh, making a position in life and this person succeeded in doing all these things but at the same time you see the lagnesh is conjunct the 10th lord which is mars so saturn mars is in the 10th so the workplace can be very stressful at times if saturn mars is conjunct you know and therefore we could say uh, that uh, these two malefics are aspecting the fourth house so in fact uh, he is from uh, hyderabad india he told me that because of the stress of for work he could not go to india for around 1 1 and 1/2 years so, so this never happens he always goes to his home uh, uh, quite frequently because sagittarius rising you see here jupiter is also the fourth lord with the lagna lord so now you see in the lagna chart two benefics are aspecting the fourth house so that means the person is very attached to home now here two malefics are aspecting the fourth house so that means when malefics aspect the fourth house they can throw you away from the homeland okay so this is what happened he stayed in germany and he could not go to india even if he wanted he tried his best but unfortunately he could not go okay and if you see here multiple indications are there the fourth lord is also not well placed here so that means he will not be connected to his homeland or to his mother especially during that time and that with instability so there are multiple indications of course and uh, moon who is the natural karaka for motherland and homeland is also afflicted and it is in the rahu ketu axis okay so these things can show that now uh, the person is not connected to his roots sometimes okay but overall because the lagna lord is well placed and the 10th lord is well placed the 10th lord is the dispositor of the lagna lord because the lagna lord is sitting in the 10th house and the 10th lord is itself placed there so therefore this year would be uh, i mean 2016 would have been a great year for him all right with all the challenges and difficulties and one important thing is moon and mercury are in the 17 axis so his social circle would improve social circle will bloom and many other things we can study and in future videos i will also tell um, how to see this uh, like every month you can go na first house is the first month then second house is second month how to uh, see what will happen during these you know specifically month wise also i will make some other videos where i will explain this in detail all right so this is a preliminary introductory video for tithi pravesh and i will see how is the response from you guys if you like this video then click the thumbs up and share it with others who are interested to know about tithi pravesh and if you want a consultation from me then you can always go to my website to book a reading uh, and you will find the link to the website down in the description section of my videos so god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him thank you so much